And for more on the cross-country campaigning, we're welcoming in Niall Stanich, White House columnist at The Hill. Niall, thanks for being here. Good to be with you, Natasha. Okay, so Niall, as we just heard Robert F. Kennedy Jr. speaking to Elizabeth Vargas in this week's News Nation Town Hall, uh, we did hear him speak about his father, about the Kennedy legacy. Are voters brought in by name value alone? They are in his case, and there's actually polling evidence of that. In fact, it's one of the big questions around his somewhat surprising rise in the polls. Is that rise being driven by people who admire that Kennedy name, perhaps particularly older voters who remember the whole Camelot image around the Kennedys? Is it an appeal of his actual policies? Or is it simply Democrats who are uneasy with President Biden looking for an alternative? And, you know, Mr. Kennedy is the most prominent alternative. You know, Kennedy has also rankled uh, the de Democratic establishment with the way that he embraces some conspiracy theories. He circulates debunked information. Will his unwavering mm. views on those issues make it almost impossible for him to reach a wider voter base? Yes, I think it will. I think that what we're seeing right now is Robert F. Kennedy Jr. finding a, a market for his views that is significant but not significant enough at all to really pose a serious challenge to President Biden for the Democratic nomination. Setting aside the fact that it's very difficult to challenge an incumbent president, I think Mr. Kennedy's views, not just on COVID, but on vaccines generally, and on other issues as well, like the war in Ukraine, put him way out of step with the Democratic primary electorate. So yes, he has a very fervent uh, niche, particularly of online support, but that there's no real sign that that is translating to a really huge or really, from, from President Biden's perspective, of dangerous level of support. Okay, I, I appreciate that. Because you right. did mention that the polling is, is perhaps higher than expected. With how he's polling now, mm. does it pose a threat to President Biden's re-election campaign? Not unless it grows significantly higher, and I don't think that's going to happen for the reasons that we were just talking about. Right now, RFK Jr. is around 15, 20 percent in polls. Actually, a couple of recent polls, he has come down slightly. So, look, it is, as I say, hard to beat an incumbent president from your own party anyway. I, there is no tradition of incumbent presidents even debating challengers from within their own party. I know from my own reporting, the White House is eager to ignore RFK Jr. to the extent that they can, and I don't see right now evidence that his support is growing in a way that would endanger that strategy. Okay, appreciate that perspective. Let's talk about President Biden. Um, yesterday, he was blasting the Supreme Court's decision to block his student loan debt forgiveness plan. Let's listen to part of that quickly. I'm never going to stop fighting for you. We'll use every tool at our disposal to get you the student debt relief you need and reach your dreams. Authority. Did you overstep your authority? I think the court misinterpreted the Constitution. So Biden also says the administration is working on a new plan now. Do we know what direction this new plan will take and, and will it work and when? It has two arms to that plan, and we know more about one than the other. One that we do know more about is this attempt to ease repayments that are shortly to begin. And there it is things like, for example, changing the standards around discretionary and non-discretionary income so that a certain proportion of borrowers won't have to immediately begin paying their loans back, or if they do, the, the amount will be reduced. The bigger issue, and the one that we frankly know less about, is trying to use the powers vested in the Secretary of Education to offer some form of loan forgiveness or loan relief. Um, that was something that was announced very soon after the Supreme Court decision, but the exact specifics of that are going to be worked out through a period of public consultation and, Natasha, worth emphasizing, they are themselves likely to face legal challenge. Okay, so certainly a long road still ahead. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.